the value of the cube root of 210 plus the cube root of 210 to the infinity. You may use the chapters below to jump to the section of thinking process and different parts of the detailed solutions. Hi there, welcome to my channel, Mathesism. Today I will share with you this question of 3210, the value of cube root of 2 and 0 plus the cube root of 2 and 0 up to the infinity. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, we're going to let x be the value of the whole expression of cube roots. Next, we'll take x cubed on both sides to obtain a cubic equation in x. Later on, we'll factorize the cubic polynomial into a linear expression x minus a constant and another one which is quadratic in x. Finally, we'll solve for the real roots of the equation to obtain the value of the expression. That's all about the thinking process. Let's jump to the decap solutions. First of all, we're going to let x be the value of the whole expression. Next, we take x cubed so that the right hand side is 210 plus the cube root of 210 plus the cube root of 210 up to the infinity. Now we can see that the second part on the right hand side is exactly the same as the previous expression. Therefore, we can replace it with x. So we obtain an equation x cubed is equal to 210 plus x. Let's put some values of x to try. So if we put x is equal to 6, then the left hand side is equal to 6 cubed, which is 216, while the right hand side is equal to 210 plus 6, which is also 216, which is the left hand side. Therefore, x is equal to 6 is a root of the cubic equation. However, a cubic equation may have at most 3 real roots. Therefore, we we'll have to solve the equation completely to check whether x is equal to 6 only. Let's put the two terms on the right hand side to the left. So x cubed minus x minus 210 is equal to 0. Now we we'll factorize the left hand side in the following way. We start with x cubed because x is equal to 6 is a root. Therefore, we'll minus 6x squared. By doing so, we have to add an extra 6x squared. Next, based on 6x squared, we will minus 36x. The reason is that once we take out 6x as a common factor, we'll have x minus 6 only. So we add an extra 36x, and finally minus x minus 210 is equal to 0. So we break down the cubic polynomial into three parts. This is the first part, second part, and the third part. For the first part, take a common factor x squared, then we'll have x minus 6 in the bracket. In the second bracket, take out 6x as a common factor, then we'll have x minus 6. For the final bracket, which is 35x minus 210, we can take out the common factor 35 to obtain x minus 6 as well. It is equal to 0. Now for the three groups, x minus 6 is a common factor, so we can take it out. So we have x minus 6, and then for the bracket, we get x squared plus 6x plus 35 is equal to 0. So the cubic equation is completely factorized. Therefore, x is equal to 6, or x squared plus 6x plus 35 is equal to 0. Observing that 35 is 5 times 7, actually we can't factorize the quadratic expression. However, we can see that there's no real root for this equation. So let's check the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 35. 
which is minus 104, and this is smaller than 0. Therefore, there is no real root of the quadratic equation. In other words, there is only one real root of the cubic equation, which is x is equal to 6. Finally, the expression cubic of 2 and 0 plus the cubic of 2 and 0 up to the infinity is equal to 6. And it happens that this 6 is actually 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like, share and subscribe my channel. I'm happy to see your views in the comment section below. That's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.